dream of change, where Jesus is our joy. All right, Tennessee Valley, good morning, good morning, good morning, for this is the day the Lord has made, and it's now time for Pastor Mark Barrows with Christ in Action. How you doing, Pastor? Well, good morning, Faithful. It's a terrific Tuesday, a great day to be sharing the good news. Say it, say it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. It's in season, out of season, no matter the reason. This is good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. That said, I'm going to sit back and relax and drink my coffee while you are proclaiming the word of God. Tennessee Valley, are you ready this morning for a powerful word from God with Pastor Mark Barrows with Christ in action? Take it away, Pastor. All right, delighted to be bringing that word of God, which he himself declared in Isaiah 55. It says, the rain and the snow that comes down to heaven from heaven does not return there, but waters the earth and causes it to spring forth its blood. He says, so is my word that goes out of my mouth, that it will not return to me void, but prosper in what I sent it to do and accomplish that which I please, prayer providing both bread to eat and seed to sow. And so with the love of God is the key that we are sharing this month. Love keys. And <clears throat> we're speaking from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Of course, if you've been following the daily connection here, then uh, you've been tracking with us on these messages and Today, we're continuing in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse number 4, which says this, and we're just starting the first part of that verse, that the King James text, it says, love suffers long and is kind. In other translations, it says, love is patient and shows kindness. Well, however you interpret it, the message is clear that love is an enduring commitment so important for us to understand and grasp this in the world that we live in today, where oftentimes love is considered something to be fleeting or momentary or passing or that can, uh, is, is conditional. You know, I love you because you love me. I love you because you're lovely. But love is an enduring commitment Yes, it is a passion. Yes, we have feelings and emotions that surround love, but the eternal love of God is an un unconditional kind of love. It is a love that he set upon us before the world began. The scripture says in Ephesians 1 that he chose us in Christ unto the adoption of children that we should be holy and without blame before him in love before the foundation of the world. And so you see, the love that God shows to us is not one that is based upon our performance and our goodness or even when we finally woke up and knew that we needed him, that he loved us and that he was for us on our side and in our corner. Even when we were against him and did not acknowledge him, he commended, put on display his love for us and that he sent his son to die for us, to be the propitiation, the substitute, the atonement, the sacrifice for our sins. I said, oh, those are good theological words and biblical words, but what does that mean for my life? It means that the love that uh, you have in your life and that you show to others and the love that is worth living and finding and giving and receiving is an enduring love, a love that is continuous and not momentary and fleeting. You know, the, the interesting thing about it is, is that we, as we've navigated life and the twists and turns of the journey of human existence, uh, the things that we call love are, are quite interesting. It is, uh, it, it, it wants uh, it, it reflects the heart of God in some sense, but it also in many senses does not because it's conditional and uh, it's changing, it's fleeting. We're talking about falling into and falling out of love. I understand what's meant by that. However, love is not something that you trip up and fall into. 
nor is it something that you so easily fall out of. Uh, love is a commitment from the heart. It is a decision within oneself to show love on every level, whether it be brotherly love or even if it's, if it, or if it's romantic love. It is a commitment and a decision. And when we approach love in that way, it becomes not a just let's wait and see and what happens kind of thing, but it becomes a commitment that we make that we are going to seek the, the best interest of others, regardless of them. Now, that means that we sometimes have to uh, shape and have what we do and how we do and how we approach things, but we do whatever we do out of love and a commitment for the best interest of all. That's how God is. That's how God works. And so, you know what? There's freedom in truly loving. There's free freedom in truly loving. Freedom for us and that we don't have to get upset, backset, and be set because of what people do. And likewise, you know, we can live freely and receive love as we give the love that God shows to us, to others. Hey, let's have an enduring commitment of love for one another today in whatever form that that love takes on because God is love. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee and Valley and beyond every day. Because you and I, the difference, it makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us, mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news hey. on this terrific <laughs> Tuesday, faithful. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for the powerful word. Yes, ma'am. Blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family and the love you show us every single day. Have a great day today now. All right, on purpose. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye now. Okay. All right. Yes, indeed. Let's have a great day on purpose and let's love today on purpose. Let's live on purpose. And a purposeful living is love based living, the God kind of love. Love yourself, love God, love yourself, love others. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye bye.